now. The classic turn it off, turn it back on again seems to have worked. We were having some uh, Logitech issues there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's looking good now, though. And um, welcome in, Sticks. How are you? How's the weather there? I heard you got some uh, kind of dicey weather coming your way. Yeah, the storm is not here yet, but I do expect we'll probably lose power in the middle of the night. Yeah, we're, we're looking at we're looking at eh, four to twelve inches of snow, gusts Whoa. up to sixty miles per hour. Typical uh, Vermont April weather. It's a nice spring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We just it was just seventy degrees here, and then now it's you know oh, it's you're so fucking lucky. Well, no, now it's no it snowed seven inches yesterday, so. We, but it's, we had, as long as it's that warm, then uh, you don't care as much. Yeah, we got a little break. It was like weirdly, it was like weirdly warm, and then now, it's uh, the sadness is is kicking back in. <laughs> the um, yeah, no, I've 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 um, been looking forward to spring. Like I've been uh, doing a lot of gardening and stuff like that, and then like oh. Okay, well, I was going to plant the, uh, like, the brassicas, like, broccoli and stuff like that. I was going to plant it, actually, in the next couple of days. I'm like, nope, not going to happen. Can you so check? I got, a couple other, I got a couple other grow lamps, actually, for uh, in here so that I can uh, at least do some indoor gardening. Yeah, can you check which mic you're using in the bottom? Oh, shit, am I using it on that? Just a sec. It doesn't sound awesome. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Much better. Yes, here we go. Apologies, everyone. I have not used uh, Rumble's recording software before, so this is uh, is it's in training at the moment. Yeah, now we're good, and um, everything is is set. Yeah, the um, I saw you were setting up some garden related things, and then I saw the weather coming out that way, and I was like, oh, I hope you didn't hope you didn't overcommit to spring. Oh, no, no, no. I'm definitely going to get the uh, plants out on time. It's just, eh, I would have liked to have gotten them in maybe a week early. And yeah. that's, ob that's obviously not going to happen. So, Not but anymore. At least, the, at least they're growing in here. The okra over there is almost a foot tall, actually. It's actually okra. outpaced. Oh, yeah. Fuck, yeah. For chili? <sighs> you, are, you eat some interesting food. You have a very mm. unique diet. Like... Uh, I'm not saying Vegetables. it's good or bad. I just mean it's it's you know it's unique to you. Oh yeah, lots and lots of vegetables, huge amounts of protein whenever possible. It's a peanuts and meat and stuff like that. That's the way to go. Yeah, that's, that's why we got our... that's the American dream, dude. <laughs> yeah, and we got our buddy Anton to keep us going on the meats too, which is always oh, yeah. helpful. Plenty of biltong. So uh, I wanted to, so everyone, just so everyone knows, uh, this will be um, a regular day for Sticks on Wednesdays on this channel. Also, all of his channels, well, I linked his Rumble and his YouTube below. So if you're a Rumble viewer, make sure you're following his Rumble channel. And if you're a YouTube viewer, obviously, you, you should still watch on Rumble, but you don't have to. Um, you should you know follow him where is where it is most convenient to you is um what i would say but obviously he's got his rumble channel one of the early adopters of rumble he has his youtube channel which is mm. uh heavily suppressed new um, tech for the win yeah new tech he was definitely an early adopter of new tech and then obviously his twitter all linked down below and shout out to i see all the clankers in the chat like roughneck and uh cam is there for the basement and the clank i'll be listening but during my workout time Sticks Hex and Hambly, let's go. Yeah. Sticks, are you growing any purple tomatoes? Is that like code for drugs? No, no, no. Those Cherokee purples. They're an heirloom variety. They're they're literally purple. I don't have any seeds for that. I'm gonna be growing, I think, three different varieties though. Okay. My wife yeah, always wants to start... cherry and Roma mainly. My wife bought a um an indoor hydroponic thing. Now, every time I, you know, I tell somebody, oh, my wife's got a hydroponic garden, like, oh, is that, and I'm like, no, she grows mostly lettuce and basil, um, but it works good for that. And, you know, I, I don't want to do the math on what it's costing to run that thing and uh, what each oh, head of get, lettuce is get, actually costing me. Oh, if you get good crops, it'll, uh, it'll pay for itself easy. It does crush. It grows like crazy. Like we haven't bought oh, yeah. lettuce in, well, ever since we got the thing basically. And, um. The spices That's, do pretty good. 
Yeah, the best thing, indoor gardening, mainly I would only do for herbs or maybe like uh, having mushrooms down in the basement or something. Yeah. Not that kind of mushrooms, though. Not the fun <laughs> ones. Yeah. The, yeah, the those kind are... you stir fry and then they're fun. <laughs> yeah. One of the things I wanted to talk about, so we got a lot um, on the docket. I'm going to kind of go in order of some of the things we mentioned. Um, this this phenomenon, I didn't see if you covered it today, yeah. of this uh, you know, a significant number. There's this report that says, you know, 400,000 new voters registered without a photo ID in a single week, um, 316, 2024, with 300,000 of them new voters in Texas. Thoughts? My thoughts is it's not going to flip Texas. Um, Texas will remain red. But when we're talking about some of the uh, voting rolls in maybe Pennsylvania or Arizona, that could definitely be a problem. Yeah. Yeah. When you look at it's, it's like the pipe dream that the Republicans have about turning um, New York blue. Uh, that's not going to occur. The same thing is the pipe dream of the Democrats. Uh, earlier today, uh, the Biden campaign is like, oh, come on, man. We think we can be uh, competitive in Florida. I'm thinking to myself, OK, you're going to find a million extra votes in a state that doesn't have really mail-in ballot access. I don't think so. Yeah, they that is true. They I saw that they were they had some sort of hopes of flipping Florida and then they were going to like campaign down there. I'm like, <laughs> good luck. No to them. shot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not with, you know, many people in Florida still like DeSantis, too. And, and he um, did endorse Trump. It was a, it was a mediocre yeah. endorsement, but he did endorse him. I know that Max Nordau and a handful of other people are still holding out and still have the TDS. Most of them, even like uh, what's his name, uh, Bill Mitchell, even he uh, Max he Nordau. finally got off that nonsense. I'm hoping that these clowns do because it, you know I don't. What makes me nervous, to be honest with you, is just how many polls have Trump out in front. Mm -hmm. Um. I, I don't want people to get complacent like 2016 with Hillary. Exactly. And um, in order for Trump to win, you know, I've been very open with my viewers. Like I've voted all over the place, um, but I am a Trump guy. I like him a lot less in 2024 than I did in 2016. Um, but I still want, I still think he's the best candidate for the country and he's going to need everybody. He can't, you know, he, if you look at even this, what I thought was interesting is it's pretty easy to draw some parallels to illegals when you have 270, 230,000 in Texas, 27,000 in Arizona, and then just 50, in the right places, right? Yeah, what a coincidence, you know, where everybody's exactly. flowing in. The not, and by so, from what I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, this is a state thing. Like some states will allow you to register with just a social security number or something, mm -hmm. you don't need a photo ID, but this is not a federal thing, this is a state level thing. Yeah, the states generally run the elections. It's like here in Vermont, you basically you go to the polling place and you give your name. And here it's not as much of a problem because it's small town America, right? So mm -hmm. the people that are there, they sort of know who's around. They've seen them before. It's not so much of a problem. But in big cities, in some states, it definitely could be a problem, unfortunately. Yeah, over time, certainly, right? I mean, I think yeah. when you look at, yeah, F Florida, I mean... Or I'm sorry, Texas would be extremely unlikely. But the other thing that you look at on the map is, you know, one thing that I'm uh, is of concern to me. One of the byproducts of Roe v. Wade being overturned is now it's on the ballot. And it's that a back burner issue, though. The, 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 the Democrats are insane to try to push that to the floor. They're not going to succeed. Yeah, I was going to I was going to ask your opinion about that, because, you know, some people are saying I mean, like in Wisconsin, it cost us the Supreme Court. It was <laughs> Republican, and then all the Zoomers uh, came out and voted, and it was enough to sway the election. I don't think it's as big of a deal for the because it's still a states thing anyway. So, and the Republicans you know, were goddamn stupid to try to make it a federal issue. They I managed agree. to do. Yeah. They, they did what Republicans do best, which was they took an, an issue that they'd campaigned on for decades and decades. And the second that they won, they immediately decided to pivot. And they said, <laughs> yeah. oh, we, we talked about this being a state's rights issue, the, the, the Roe v. Wade and abortion thing. But now we think that it's a federal issue. We want a federal abortion limitation. Lindsey Graham coming out ahead of that. 
Donald Trump has preempted them. And uh, actually, he got shit on the other day by the Biden campaign as though he was like the architect of trying to keep women barefoot and in the kitchen or something like that. It made no sense. Yeah. Yeah. Trump is relatively smart to deflect that to the states like he does with marijuana. And, yeah. he, you know, he's just which is why yeah, he came. He came out in favor of medical marijuana. God, wasn't it 1990? seven or something when he was like still that. a democrat i mean like it was a long time ago. no he came he came out ahead of the democrats on that one he's like yeah. well uh you know i've got some friends that could really benefit from marijuana usage and so i don't want to take it away from them and yeah yeah i don't that hate that funny. yeah he's he's interesting so i was seeing um on they had cnn the statistician on cnn yesterday i think mark dice made a video about it this morning where he was basically like, immigration's the uh, number one issue right now, and obviously that'll that could change. Yeah. And Trump is just destroying Biden. He's up by like <laughs> 15, 20 points or something. It's not even close. Yeah, it's it's brutal. And it's gonna think, it's gonna remain the main issue. That's my prediction. That's because, what I was I mean, gonna ask. You, I mean, yeah. Do you think that Joe Biden is actually gonna solve the problem? He doesn't want to. <laughs> not in five months. You know, like that's the the other side of it. He's got till November, right? And you know, by the time mm -hmm. I, you know, really, people talk about the undecideds, but like, there aren't many undecideds by September or October. You've got your, you know, who you're voting for. That's why I never, or, really or at least who, or at least who you lean towards voting for. You know, yeah, but it would there's take, a turnout differential, but yeah, it would take. You know, like the grab him by the pussy thing. I don't think cost Trump any votes, <laughs> but they thought it would. Um, the I Hunter remember Biden that fondly. Yeah, yeah, fondly. Yeah, the uh, fondly. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Um, you know, I think that the Biden laptop thing. You know, that was another thing they tried to hold until the last possible second. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. Do you think that? Do you think that had that not been suppressed, it would have? swung any voters yes you do okay yeah millions of them damn okay i guess if yeah, the I mean, whole thing gets it, dumped right it, it would have overrun the uh ballot printers going burr thing and that's why I they suppose. suppressed that's why they suppressed it that's why the corporations uh colluded with the u.s government to do that yeah yeah corporations big tech uh twitter specifically um that's suppressing that's why it. we're that's why this is a rumble only stream uh <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, the oh yeah, since it's a rumble only stream, I'm allowed to flash guns and shit like that. <laughs> well, we are streaming to YouTube too, but the oh, um I wouldn't oh, worry about that. Okay. You can show that on YouTube, I think. Even if no, I got a strike I don't... on YouTube. Oh, okay. okay. Don't Sorry worry about, about it. No, no, don't worry about it. I thought it. this was rumble only. We do I do normally do rumble only. Um, but for the month of April, I'm trying to like uh I'm Drag trying to to rumble. Yes, right. I'm trying to recruit um because I find this, and I don't know if you do too, but when you talk to people about Rumble, generally, uh, most of the complaints that they have is, is stuff that's been fixed for months. Yeah. And it's like a PR thing um, where it's like, hey, I can't even make playlists. It's a crap app. Or I download it. I'm like, you've been able to make playlists for three months. What do you, four months? You can do yeah. all this stuff is there. So I don't know. I've never had any problem with Rumble's stability, and I don't understand exactly. Some me either. It always here, just uh, just a second here. Uh, chat for some reason is not actually working on the page that we're recording on, and I can't oh. use my keyboard because that that USB port clearly is is fucking yes. the ass. It is it it's locked up a... inside of uh, Studio. Yeah, yeah. The um, so have a... pull that out. There we go. Uh, yeah, I have it popped out too, so I can. I always, it. I always. I always like to look at chat when uh, when I'm on a call. Yeah, yeah. I do too. I, it's yeah, so fun. The hope is to you know bring people because I think maybe a lot of the problems that people have with Rumble were in the app because I never really used the mm -hmm. app. I just watched it on my computer like you know old boomer would. Yeah. So maybe that's where the issues were. But yeah, people the, need to understand new tech sites like Rumble, Bitshoot, Mine, Substack, and stuff. Uh, they're going to have some problems. They try to address them, but if you abandon the app, you're never going to know that they've addressed them. You, you got to give a little bit of time. You got to realize uh, I, I was there for YouTube, for example, back almost when it began, back in like 
ah, you know, 2004 or something like that. Mm -hmm. It took a very, very long time for even a very large site like that, even after Google consumed them. It took them several years to take care of their buffering issues alone. And so the buffering uh, issues were you, real. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah. You, you buffer for one hour to watch five minutes of video. You got to give them time because mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how expert they are. It's going to take them a while. Yeah. The one of the other. So um, piggy t pig, piggybacking on the the kind of the illegals thing, you know, you've got obviously the numbers where I had this lady in my dog training class come up to me. <laughs> I don't know if you if you experienced this, but I've never uh, been to a dog training class. <laughs> fair enough. Um, but like, you know, when you're like in mixed company politically mm -hmm. and when you're in like a friendly area politically sometimes someone will be like has anyone ever come up to you and like been like yeah i mean trump i mean man i love trump i wish i could you know man my family that kind of stuff um she she must have felt like comfortable she was like yeah these immigrants i'm like what are you talking about she's like oh they're all over and in, in this town kiwaskum which is like a tiny little town of like three thousand people i'm like really and um oh biden you know, probably flew him in there yeah exactly they're all over in wisconsin it's becoming a real issue you want more it, diversity here it comes yeah yeah but like it or not um but that's you know i think that's you're right in that that issue is going to continue because they're going to keep busting them in and then you obviously got the issues now that are affecting the black community where like <laughs> the immigrants are getting all this money and the black community are turning against the immigrants because they're like what the hell uh, i think that's stephen a smith on tv saying like people are like what what's happening here we need help <laughs> and you're giving 53 million dollars to illegals in new york you know 1400 dollars a month cost for family of four migrants like and by the way stop calling them migrants they're illegal aliens at, yeah, at that's most the, that's the that's the other thing that fucking sucks is that people will say like migrant crisis or something like that okay these people are not migrant labor they're nope. not picking apples or anything like that they are literally illegally in the country there's only one terminology to use for them and this is what I fucking hated about Nikki Haley. You, you, you remember her ignominious run for the presidency. I remember it's her like, machine gun oh, heels like, or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, my. my I can't even remember. But oh, my God, that was crazy. She's like, oh, don't call them illegals. That's dehumanizing. I'm like, well, they're illegally in the country. Um, what else am I supposed to call them? They're yeah. not asylum. Most of these people do not seek asylum. They're not even registering for it. They're just illegally in the country. Yeah, that was one of the funniest parts. Remember during Biden's? Uh, oh my god! I'm, I, I'm not like I don't know. Like Marjorie Taylor Greene, some days I'm like, okay, cool. Some days I'm like, eh. but like she basically bullied Biden into accidentally saying illegals uh, during and then his. And he had to apologize. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can see every butthole pucker in that room. I'm very sorry. Word. I'm very sorry that this literal mass murderer um, that I called him an illegal. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. About that. Yeah, those have future potential Democrat voters. Uh, we don't want to. We don't want to upset them. I think it's weird. I think that it's reached a point now where it's. I compare it to like the Bud Light boycott, where it's off the internet mm -hmm. and like regular people are now like, "Yo, what the heck?" There's a bus full of people who don't even speak English at the grocery store. What's going on there? Like, and they're not tourists either. Right, they're not tourists. They have carts full of groceries that are overheat. I mean, I've seen them at our chain grocery store is Meyer. There'll be like eight or 10, all men, surprisingly, no women or children carts packed to the ceiling. And then they'll have like a handler with them. And I'm like, I didn't see this six months ago. And so people are, you know, Hey, on all my experience with them, they're just buying groceries. I'm not ha I haven't had any problems. I haven't, you know, had any issues I'm not <laughs> yet. <laughs> yet. Right. Yeah. Correct. Yet. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's wild that people are now just in the sub people thought it was just a Texas thing. Like, oh, this is the legal Texas deals with it. No, now they're everywhere. Cause they're getting, that's, around. that's exactly the fact. Nobody cared about the issue. Well, outside of the South, when it was around the border, when it was a Texas thing and Arizona thing and stuff, all the nimbyists in the big cities in the North, they never cared about the issue. They kept voting for those far left policies. Oh, oh my God, uh, we need to take care of the tired and poor, the huddled masses and stuff. 
Then the tired, poor, huddled masses came to their city. And all of a sudden, the voting demographics keep changing. It's amazing how that happens. Yeah, it's weird. God, I, 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 hate, in... I, I, I would rather live among illegal immigrants than live among white, upper middle class NIMBYists. I would rather yeah. have a neighborhood full of fucking Venezuelans than have to deal with those shit fucks. Yeah, I think at least they you know the what you're getting. The They're the you scum know of the earth. Yeah, you, you're getting. You know what you're getting with one group. The other group is, is it's is yeah. insufferable. Um, the hell, the, yeah, I, I I pray that everyone out there that hasn't uh, had to deal with NIMBYists that you don't have to. They are the, absolutely terrible. The what I found, yeah. What, suddenly everybody's opinion changed <laughs> when you started busting them into Martha's Vineyard. Exactly. Or like into Chicago. Do you like, remember when they? Do you remember when they put them in the church? Yeah. And it's like you you people have 17 bedroom homes. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got like five, six spare bedrooms you're not renting at the moment. You can't even take in two or three people for a yeah. couple of nights. And then no they're chance. trying to give them they're trying to give them like arugula and uh, avocado toast. <laughs> yeah. And they couldn't understand it. Oh man, that, yeah. and that's it's probably the greatest 48 hours that uh, has ever been had. Yeah, that was that was one of the that was definitely one of the most hilarious things, and it, it's even funnier like up here in Wisconsin. Um, yeah. It, By the way, we've got sticks is dumb in chat. What country is sticks from? <laughs> <laughs> He's American. The um, the I thought it was funny is in Chicago when they started busting him in there, the communities were like where they were shutting down schools and shutting down. Yeah. Um, rec centers for inner city kids for migrants and it's like part of me like i'm always like for a while i was like part of, you just want to be like well you voted for it bud keep voting for it but then yeah. i'm like man like i feel <laughs> i feel bad yeah, yeah. Like, i mean on on one end it's like okay you you literally did vote for this and as far as the politicians and the big wigs there screw them uh i hope that they suffer but then there are people that are really down and out, you know, the homeless, the lower class and stuff like that. And they deserve to have access to the services that are actually created by the government, you know, mediocre as they may be. And they're getting muscled out by people who aren't even legally in the country. And I feel sorry for them. And disproportionately, they are going to be black and ironically Hispanic. So some, some person who happens to speak Spanish natively comes illegally to the country and they're somehow privy to more goods and services than somebody who's Hispanic, but they were born in the country and they happen to be lower class. I don't understand it. The fact That's, that people are tolerating this is, is ungodly to tell the truth. Yeah. The, I just hope they turn up and vote because, yeah. you know, if you look at obviously locally too is very, very important, but you, you know, it's in that C Stephen A. Smith, who's like a sport. He talks about sports ball, um, but he said too, he's like, "Oh man, I've got Latino brothers and sisters that came into this country legally, and they hate these people." I'm like, "Why do you yeah. think that is?" Yeah. Why? I'm like, I'm I'm like beyond hate at this point. I don't hate even illegal immigrants. I don't. Why hate would them you? At all. They're just I mean, doing what. Yeah. You know, I mean, Biden's letting them in. Well, I mean, if you're from some shithole socialist country uh, and you're being allowed in the country, I don't begrudge them at all. Yeah, I, I don't I don't get that irrational. And that's one of the big lies about people I who are anti. Yeah, well, it's a big lie about people who are like anti open borders. It's like, no, no, no. We completely understand why they're here. We completely yeah. because so, someone there told them, hey, come on in and we'll give you free stuff. Why the hell wouldn't they come? Like it's not their fault. Yeah, I mean, I mean, imagine that you go from a country where the average income is three thousand dollars a year, to a country where if you're making minimum wage, you're making eighteen thousand or something. You can send that three thousand back home to Abuela, and your entire family is completely paid for, just by just by your labor, working right, forty a hours a week. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I, I don't never... I don't I don't begrudge them that because it's like these people are trying to work hard. A lot of these people really do want that American dream. It's just that the American dream is dead because of Bidenomics. Yeah. And I feel sorry for them because they come to the United States figuring, oh, it'll be a better life and I can take care of my family. And then they come here and they realize that a jar of pickles is eight dollars. Well, yeah.
and there yeah. goes your paycheck and enjoy your your six dollars an hour that you're going to get yeah um you know and you're going to get no you're not going to get a good paying job i mean of course tyson chicken will hire you um but you know I, man I, that must be like hitting the goddamn lottery <laughs> can you imagine <laughs> I, oh, you're, well, I you're 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 Peruvian or so or or uh, you know Venezuelan or something, and you work for Tyson Chicken. Oh my God, you <laughs> must think that you, you must think that you're the goddamn king in the castle. Yeah, can I just <laughs> get paid in chicken? The <laughs> yeah, it's it's weird that I hate that when um the media says you know like oh if you're anti and again I'm not for me I'm not anti immigration I'm anti like open borders you know I, I I'm exactly. still fine with people coming to this country um but i do think it's when they'll say well you're just racist no dude no this country what the fuck does it have to do with race some no, white Arge nothing. some some blonde-haired blue-eyed argentinian or white mexican is gonna should be treated the same way as someone from the yucatan peninsula they should all I be treated great. exactly the same i have mercy for people who really genuinely want to escape fucking communism, socialism, which is rife in Latin America, and want to build a better life. I have sympathy for them, and I would try to do everything if I were president of the United States to make sure that they could come into the country. There would be conditions, there would be stipulations, there would be back pay, there would be taxes, all of these other things, but I would try to get them into the country because I'm like, they're going to be more loyal than uh, than all of the leftoid uh, yep. citizens that are already in the uh, country. I would and gladly, I would gladly swap them out for any Antifa member. In fact, I'm thinking maybe that's what we should do. We should round up all the Antifa members. We'll send trade. them to Mexico yeah. and say, "Look, you, know, you, you get down there." And they then love we'll communism get, uh, so much. Exactly. Yeah. And then we'll take we'll take some disaffected Venezuelans instead. I have no problem with that. Yeah, and you know, at least in Bye. the beginning. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, cool. I mean, it's not much different than living in Portland. So I would suspect that they're. You know that they're they'll be right at home. Somebody said, um, "Oh, I missed it." They said something about I get X dollars. I'm sorry, I missed. Oh, I'm on food stamps and I get a hundred dollars a month. This B, I've lived here. <laughs> this is BS. I've lived here all my life. I'm 77 years old, and going shopping is a nightmare. I'm to the point yeah. where I see, I'm to the point where if I see foreigners in the store, I don't know what they continued there, but I, yeah, I understand why you feel that way. And Sir Link says there's. There's a reason why Joe brought in millions of illegals. This was the plan, mass registrations to vote with just a social security number, a little license needed. Arizona only needs social security. Nobody's talking about the obvious clown steal for 2024, massive voter registration. That's the first part. Key swing states, Texas, Pennsylvania, Arizona. Yeah, yeah I mean. Speaking, speaking as someone who was dirt poor years ago and was on food stamps, uh, my condolences because having to whip out that card when you're getting your groceries is humiliating. And yeah. uh, you, know, it's, you, you try to self-improve. It's actually an impetus to do so. Um, I don't have any problem with immigrants to the United States, including people who are seeking asylum, who are from places like uh, Venezuela and, uh, and other blighted places. What we should be doing is using our diplomatic leverage to encourage other countries to get rid of the leftoidism, because that's what makes them poor and fucked up. And that's why we have the migrant crisis. If we could just address that and then fortify the border, uh, we'd have 90% less uh, attempted crossings. The rest is easy. That's what they tried to. That's what they tried to say. You know, remember they sent Kamala down there and they hated her and booed her and like the yes. um, the. That's the thing, wasn't right? That, wasn't that her first uh, foreign state visit? Yes, it was the first thing yeah. she ever basically did because people were <laughs> like, "Bro, she's the border czar." Well, she's not doing anything. And then they like sent her on this trip, which was a complete unmitigated disaster, brought her back between her tail with her tail between her legs. And I just feel like, damn, you know, like you're, you're right. Like the first step is fixing, like seeing what you can do about fixing the problem in these other countries. Um, well, the first step is shutting down the border. Second step is if you want to help these people, you know, help their countries out, fix the systems that are in those countries rather than, why wouldn't you want to leave Venezuela? You, you have, what is their inflation at? Like 8,000 percent, 8 million percent? Like they can't, all it's, these countries. It's somewhere, it's somewhere in that ballpark, yeah. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't you leave there? I mean. There, there was a time when people were taking the Venezuelan currency, gluing it together and turning it into toilet paper rolls because it was yeah. cheaper than actual toilet paper. The toilet paper was literally worth more than the highest denomination of bills in Venezuela. 
uh, for a time. I think uh, now they have to use the lower denominations, I guess, for their toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, well, there's and like they were selling it. To, they were they were selling stacks of it to tourists, and I'm like, man, I wish I could get down there. Like, if I wasn't a political dissident, because I would love to have a pallet <laughs> full of Venezuelan cash. That'd be so I, funny. I was gonna buy a pallet of dinar for a while. There was a, it was actually like a little. Now, sorry, I don't mean to offend anybody if you're invested deeply into dinar, but that's the Iraqi currency. And it's it was a big grift to sell people Iraqi dinar. And they'd be like, well, when God comes back or whatever, and the dinar is restored, <laughs> you'll be... And people were buying... I knew people who were buying pallets, literal pallets, and it's stored in like Atlanta and Florida in these warehouses full of that, that uh, currency. Russ says, peace in... Oh, nice. Um, the Where can I get you... some dinars? That'd be fun. Yeah, yeah. Especially I was like, especially if it's from the, <laughs> the uh, Saddam era, you know. It's got Saddam's yeah, the, face on with it. his big face on it. Yeah, that would be yeah. funny. Hmm. Yeah, Something like <laughs> Joseph Stalin. Yeah, Sir Thomas Drake says, "Clank, clank." The sticks mug from Anton's has the best size handle for the full fisted grip. There it is. Ex yeah, exactly. Oh, that is cool. Um, Iron Age Media says, "Hail sticks and Jeremy." I know things have been crazy, but have you watched or read anything you've enjoyed lately? Don't forget to take a break from the propaganda deluge. I, I will admit that uh, the only thing I've read lately is about four pages of the Bible, and that's it. I haven't had any yeah. time. I was reading uh, Missing 411 the last night by David okay. Politis. Okay, I, I'm familiar with it. You haven't read Missing 411? Oh, God, you should, so. get all, you should get all six or maybe seven now volumes of it. Oh it's God! Fascinating. That's just dump right into the jump right into the deep end. You you want some paranormal stuff? It's some creepy stuff. It's about disappearances in the uh, woods and stuff like that. Oh, okay, and my, the weird uh, circumstances around it. I should say my wife just bought me a book on cryptids that I've been reading. Um, it's like light reading, like illustrated and stuff. But uh, which book? Which book? Maybe I'll get it. Um, I'll text you after. Oh wait, no, maybe I took a picture of it. Um, it was like it's like short. And it's like all the cryptids from all around the world. Oh, like and, Loch Ness. Um, and they probably have Champ on that. I don't, I'm only, I'm going slow. Like I'm reading it a page at a time. Um, it is called uh, uh, Legends. I'll, 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 uh, yeah, I'll text Yeah, just text, you later. text me afterwards. Yeah, it's light fine. reading. Yeah, yeah, it's light reading. But it was, it's like a, it's like I've, a field guide for cryptids. I, I have an entire three row shelf over here literally filled with nothing but cryptids occultism and stuff like that oh nice yeah oh the, maybe uh, next maybe next uh live stream maybe next wednesday i'll uh show off part of the collection yeah we could talk cryptids for sure um oh hell yeah what does it say that'll guys? be a stream for the ages yeah i love cryptids i love um like i love the localness of them you know mm -hmm. how and and like um yeah we'll we'll say that we'll talk about that uh tucker and russia grocery store so equals a thousand rubles they already lived through print and spend. We're going <laughs> through it now. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Um, Ministry of Wrong Things says, you guys know about the false flagging drama involving Think Before You Sleep and Alienation? No, I don't. Sorry. So, um, is somebody trying to false flag? Do I have to beat someone's ass red? Yeah, I think both of us. Uh, here's what I'll say. Um, I have you know, never. We're I, both I, against I, it. <laughs> <laughs> the the only things that I have ever flagged in the entire time that I'm on YouTube, and I am proud to state this, are things that are related to people posting obvious docs. spam. Oh, no, 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 I've... not even not even docs, just obvious spam and botting and stuff like that. I have never flagged anyone for harassing me. Not oh, once yeah, have I ever that, flagged yeah. anyone for bullying or anything like that. I uh, I don't believe in that shit. I flagged one video that doxed me and one video that had like put a cat in a blender um Ooh, and like, uh i would flag that but i thankfully i didn't see it yeah well there was a I'd time where break I was, down in tears if i saw something like that i, I just happened to be a cat aficionado me too i have five myself but the Ooh. yeah the i i remember there was a, i was covering it like there was this weirdo who was like a youtuber and then people could send me these videos They're like jeremy can you believe this is on youtube can you believe this is on youtube I'm like, please i can't take it stop sending it to me just flag it yourself like i can't like people want it, like say, oh yeah, he's covering this. Um, yeah, what's going on? All these crazy videos, and I'm like, I can't look anymore. Please stop sending me videos of of people doing terrible things to cats. I can't, I can't do it. Yeah, no, it makes me want to murder somebody. But uh, yeah, yeah, right. We will, we will say no more. 
Yeah, right. So For I wanted purposes. To, yeah, you guys know where we're going. The yeah. um in <laughs> Minecraft, or as they say. Exactly. What do you think? I thought this was a genius, brilliant stroke of Trump talking about the Christianity Day of Visibility. I saw you covered it yes. in a video today. Uh, what, do you, what did you think about it? As a non-Christian, I strongly support the notion. Not only because it pisses off the left, but you do have to understand our founders were fundamentally Christian. They may not have been religious. They didn't really go to church. Uh, well, it depends on them, but most of them didn't. But they were Christian. They believed in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. I see no problem with this. Yeah, I think it's smart. It's just a good business decision. Oh, strategically, good... it's genius. Yeah. Are you with... Uh, and, and because the other thing about the... I mean, the the clip, I don't know if you're going to hear this, but it was just great. He's just... He's I'll, still so I'll good. Okay, I'll play it. We're going to win the White House and we are going to save our country. We're going to save our country. And what the hell was Biden thinking when he declared Easter Sunday to be Trans Visibility Day? <laughs> Such total disrespect to Christians. And November 5th is going to be uh, called something else. You know, it's going to be called Christian Visibility Day when Christians turn out in numbers. Just absolute genius. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's just strategically Even, speaking this was a master fucking move yeah because because he understands and and he understands also uh disproportionately the real fire and brimstone christians in the united states black voters mm -hmm. and a lot of people don't understand that a lot of those black voters that are clustered down in places like Baptist, georgia yeah. north mm -hmm. carolina some of those uh competitive states they are very religious and uh, they don't take too kindly to what Biden did on Easter, now do they? And they also oh, he's are, gonna, he's going to fucking crush them. Yeah, he doesn't. Uh, th that community also isn't cool with trans stuff either. Yeah, for the most part. So it's like a double whammy. That's a real inconvenient truth to the um, alphabet movement. Is that like when you talk to black folks about that stuff, you'd be surprised just how what their actual opinions are. The Democrats like to pretend like. Yeah. Yeah, they're all on board with this stuff, too. White, white people white people are the most gulled into at least pretending to be woke because they happen to be white. But people who have, you know, the anti-privilege sort of thing, they can be a little bit more real. And uh, the white nimbiest liberals never talk to any black people, maybe at the no. gas station or something like that. That's about uh, that or, or their, their lawn uh, keeper or something. That's their only interaction with people that aren't white. And so they don't even understand it. And it's hilarious to see. Oh, well, oh, they're going to get their comeuppance. Yeah. Well, I think what works so good about this is that even if people aren't church going Christians, right, they still celebrate Easter and they don't like, mm. and they don't like, I mean, there's a lot more people who would maybe consider themselves Christian than Bible thumpers who are like, what? Like, <laughs> and, and yeah, he, I, the, the weird thing is it's like, okay, you can do trans day of vis uh, visibility, but shouldn't you celebrate Easter first? Like, you hey, would think. happy Easter, happy Easter, everyone, you know, mm -hmm. and then post a picture of the Easter bunny or some eggs or something like that. And then a couple hours later you do, oh, by the way, it's Trans Visibility Day. That's not what they did. They did the Trans Visibility Day right up front, right early in the morning. Hey, today is the day of Trans Visibility. Here's my proclamation celebrating it. And then it's Easter afterwards yeah and, and i'm like way, oh, i'm like dude all i want to do is eat deviled eggs and cabbage and stuff like that leave me alone. yeah i'm can not we even have a goddamn one... christian well that's what i'm saying like can we have one day where it's like can this guy not screw up for one day in a row and no. it's like yeah and it's like <laughs> okay regular everyday americans who who aren't don't go to church maybe they're cne &E christians mm -hmm. um or, or even like they just think of themselves as uh, I follow the golden rule people. Even they're like, what, what is going on? What is this? And it's, it was so unlucky because of the yeah. way Easter fell. It wasn't like Biden said, I declare today the day, but it doesn't matter because optics is, uh, you know, perception is reality. And so exactly. they spun that. And this was Joe Biden picking trans yeah. people over Easter. The Biden administration, number one, does not understand optics at all. 
And number two, I'm like, I'm thinking of myself as a non-Christian. Um, I have no problem with people believing in Jesus, etc. But I do have a problem with you preempting one of the major holidays. Most people, when they celebrate Easter, what do they do? They have a boiled dinner or they have like fucking hard boiled eggs or something. Yeah. They aren't even worshiping Jesus or something. But you're hammer handing that in. Um, and I feel sympathetic towards the Christians because I'm like, you know, you're allowed to have a couple holidays, aren't you, for yourselves? No. Can you? Can are, are you no. not allowed to worship Jesus in your own way? Yeah. Well, yeah. The answer is no, because you know, between you know, other than white men, this the, yeah. you know, you can you can make fun of the most Christians are also like let's see him preempt some Ramadan. Let's see him preempt Ramadan with some trans crap. See how that goes over. Like they they pick on Christians because they know gay they marriage can. day. Gay Marriage Day coincidentally happens to fall on Ramadan this year, you know. Oh, what a coincidence. I wonder if the White House will put out a tweet. What do you think? P docking the penis day. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look that, yeah, that up, would, folks. That, that would go up very well with ISIS, by the way. Yeah, I mean, queers for Palestine, am I right? I mean, I think <laughs> that, yeah, that they should like all that kind of stuff. And you know, Ramadan, think... just, Ramadan just happens to overlap with the Satan worship day. Yeah, well, maybe I hey, I'm all for the White House putting out all the tweets they can during Ramadan. I know they won't, but I, they, I, you, I'm I'm not because I don't want thousands of people to die. <laughs> right, that's what, that's what that's what Biden would cause. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. That, that there would actually be tr potentially the, trouble for that. As, as be, opposed to as opposed to Trump's uh, bloodshed hoax, it would be real bloodshed. Yeah, and that would also somehow be Trump's fault yeah. as well. Trump caused it, obviously. obviously. Yeah, I think, um, you know... They ran, they ran out of fried chicken at the local KFC. Trump uh, clearly uh, cleared it all out. Why would he do this? Why, He's a terrible why, man. Yeah, it's it's been interesting to see. You know, I think the Christian Visibility Day is smart. I think... Mm -hmm. But, you know, right now, it should it should be a real holiday, though, because when you think about it, although our founders were not religious, they typically didn't go to church or anything like that. They were Christians. Mm -hmm. They believed in Jesus Christ. When they died, they were praying to Jesus. I don't begrudge them that they built a great country. They gave us all sorts of cool uh, enumerated rights and all this stuff. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Uh, let them have their Jesus. Yeah, it's fine. And by Joe me. Biden, Joe Joe Biden would love to rob them of that. Well, and yeah, by retarded. any means, by any means necessary, Joe Biden would like uh, to remind you that 007 percent of the population is more important than you. Oh um, God! I hope they all vote for him. Yeah, you know, that I guess that's that's all I can say is I hope all these people that you've been courting for years i hope they vote for you because i know at least a few trans people that are absolutely anti-biden and they like trump oh yeah for sure i i mean the there, you know, there is no such thing as a political monolith <laughs> no i got invited biden to does speak. not biden does not uh understand this yeah i mean he just thinks i, I don't know what he thinks the, it was funny that i got invited to speak at the like yeah. log cabin republicans thing here in my state oh god and i was like <laughs> Part of me is like, hell yeah, based. But then also I'm like, I, I don't do public speaking. And, uh, you know, I and don't really... like, I don't really want that log, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, 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 like, I don't really do that. It's, it's called the log cabin for a reason, you know. Right. Yeah. I'm more of a. We've, uh, we've got some beavers in here. <laughs> yeah. I'm more of a groove guy than the tongue guy or whatever. But the. Oh yeah, it'd be God. interesting to say. <laughs> By the way, I'm joined right now by uh six hex and hammer uh who has is a prolific content creator his channel is linked in the description if you're watching on rumble if you're one of the 5500 or so people out on rumble i'm going to put his uh, channel in the description if you're not already following him please do and if you are uh watching on youtube i'll link his youtube channel please follow him i, I think you really like his content and uh, he's great to wake up to i like waking up in the morning to my sticks when i get up in the morning <laughs> I, I brew my cup of coffee brand coffee sticks has already put out four videos he's already halfway through his day and uh he keeps you up to date five videos a day plus uh live streams five days a week plus this appearance plus books plus uh, everything else under the sun 
Yeah, that, yeah. I mean, that's also true. If you his uh, Twitter has links are all the all the way. There's talwarwickbooks.blogspot.com, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, I'm going to uh, read a couple of these. I'm going to give Sticks a like a minute to grab his take a break here. I'm going to read some of these. Um, super oh, I berries. can take a break really quick. Yeah, if you'd like. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll. Uh, I won't leave the stream. I'll just. Um... How do I mute on here? I don't. I don't dare to disable the microphone though. Click the. Um, I can mute you. Okay, you can mute me because yeah. uh, I don't. I don't want to play with any of this stuff after all the uh, shit that we had with the webcam. I'll be all back right, in a you. couple minutes. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, sticks X and Hambly, let's go. Uh, peace in. My dad was growing fruit trees in his basement in his quote grow room. Yeah, fruit trees, huh? Um. Malin G and X says, what's your opinion on Havana syndrome? I'll ask him about that when he gets back. This is a dream team I've been waiting for. I'm so glad made this happen. Yeah, I'm still trying to get my cadence right with sticks. So we're not stepping on each other so much, but that'll come with time. Um, Red Muskrat says the Christian national thing makes me kind of uncomfortable. They're just as authoritarian when they have the ball. Just a humble Buddhist. Fair to say. What's the secret to getting Bill Tong super chats? I'm not sure. Why is Disney so determined to destroy themselves? Uh, and that is why I hate leftists and Democrats. But don't these people realize that they are turning America into the shithole they came from? No, they don't realize it. Um, the Swamp Cleaner says, you two are the two of the best content creators in the game. I've been watching both of you for years. Could I get a birthday shout out? That would make my day. I'm officially middle age. Happy 40th birthday, the Swamp Cleaner. Happy middle age birthday, dude. Um, very, very cool. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, then, uh, Lord of the Reese says, I've been working on my sticks impression. Here goes. Fucking retarded NIMBY eyed Paul leftists. That's about all. Peace out. That was pretty good. Sir Tom Strake says, Mr. Ballin on YouTube has done some segments and some of the stories from missing 411. Very cool and spooky stuff. I'm going to recommend that to my wife. Um, John Wayne's ghost says resurrections, virgin birth, and gender affirmation are all delusions, bros. All Christianity and Islam are two sides of the same coin. Like comparing Star Wars prequels and sequels. Okay. You're entitled to that opinion, 100%. Um, uh, not that brew. Uh, sorry, to brew that do says no joke. I love catching with sticks. I'm way back to work. Only other watch in the morning is the Lotus Eaters. And then um, I want to check on the uh, Empress 2E says the quartering. You have to see my FAFO design, Disney design. I think you'll like it. I don't want to link to anything and get kicked out of chat. Oh, just some email to me at the quartering at gmail.com. Um, and then on YouTube, the number one schmucks at six joining on Wednesdays means now I will too. Nice. That's That's great. Ministry of Wrong, think we got that. I'll look into that about the false flagging thing. Sir Link, so what is the solution to stop the clown show? For right now, elect Trump, I think. Um, Bobby Lane says, Clank, this is all rock on sticks. Oh, that is all. Sorry, that's all. That is all. Uh, Ghost Texas, hey, fellas, it looks like Wisconsin voted on an amendment to stop Zuckerberg electoral funny money. Yeah, I'll t we'll talk about that. Roughneck MP173 says, Clank! And uh, I think I'm caught up there. And then I just have to play this one thing. And then I'm going to unmute sticks. Uh, this stream is sponsored by uh, Tiege. So enjoy your, uh, well, let me just play this real quick. I'm really excited to have Tiege I'm really excited to have as Tiege the Hanley for as the sponsor video. for today's Tiege video. Tiege Hanley simplifies the process of taking care of your skin. They provide you with skin. all the they products, with that all the products and nothing that you, that you don't. And nothing Seriously, that you don't. I still don't Seriously, I still don't think some of you believe me when I tell you how much implementing a quality skin care routine will improve your confidence in all aspects of your life. Fellas, seriously. I give it a try. I recommend you start with their level one, one system, which comes with all the base wash, the daily face wash, and exfoliating scrub, and moisturizer with SPF 20. 
and a PM moisturizer. And they make it dead simple for guys like us. They provide an instruction card in every box that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. Believe me, I look at that every time. It definitely comes in clutch. Skincare wasn't something I took seriously. I mean, I used the same bar of soap for my entire body till recently. I wish I would have started sooner, but you don't have to take my word for it because they have over 7,000 five-star reviews from customers around the globe. This isn't something you can put off because prevention is key. Get ahead of any signs of aging now. Your future self will thank you. And because Tiege is sponsoring this video, they're offering you an amazing deal. Just click the link in the description or pin comment below to get 30% off your first skincare system and a free gift. Plus, as a member, you'll save 20% off for life. By the way, both gifts you're choosing are from a $20 value and complete game changers, a silicone body scrubber or a nail and face grooming kit. Personally, I prefer the body scrubber, but you can pick out whichever you like. Don't wait any longer. Click the link in the description to start your skincare journey today. I'm really excited to have Unmute and uh, wait, why can't I unmute you? Wait, why can't I unmute you? Oh, can you unmute yourself? There you go. Yeah, okay, I can do that. Okay. Yeah, all right. Um, yeah, I had to... By the way, by the way uh, really quickly, to the Swamp Cleaner, yes, indeed, happy birthday to you. Yeah, I'm glad you saw that. I was going to bring that up. The other one I was going to bring up that was kind of sticks specific was the one about... Um, Hav what are your opinions on Havana syndrome? I don't know what it is. Could you educate I, me too? I've got no goddamn clue what that is. It's creepy oh, as fuck. Okay. It's got to be. It's got to be some sort of Cold War um, phenomenon or something like that. I saw it like they tried to blame it on cicadas. Actually, uh, really? Years ago. Yeah, you remember the original reports? They're like, oh well, there are certain kinds of cicadas that are around there in Cuba that cause this problem. But then they had another uh, case at the. Uh, UN meeting, I think, not long ago. So they sort of ruled that out. What is it? You just get sick? I have no clue. Oh, weird. It's I guess probably, we don't know. It's probably a directed energy weapon of some sort. Oh, ear ringing. And that I wish I had one of those. <laughs> oh, what, an energy weapon or uh, the... the, the an energy weapon, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That would be fun. I mean, yeah. I'm dressed in the uh, lab coat for a reason. We're doing well, science. Well, of course. And uh, just so everyone knows, I'm joined here by Sticks, Hex, and Hammer. His links are in the description below. He'll be here on each Wednesday. Make sure you follow his channels. He uploads every day. The I wanted to talk to you. I wanted to get your take on this because I don't know. I know you're not on Twitter terminally all day like I am. I, I the, actually am. It's just that I don't post as much. Okay, so let's talk about... And you probably have seen... Um, the the Charlie Kirk talking about birth control <laughs> triggering everybody, <laughs> which then turned into I don't, I don't want to name names, but there were many female like right wing commentators who were very upset today or angry that um, men were commenting on birth control and. It women turned into this. Do, women should do whatever they want to do, and men don't have anything to say about it. Just as men have to do what they want to do, and women don't have anything to say about it. We have I different think... roles. We have different roles. Men are supposed to be providers, but they must gain latitude in their hmm. providing. If yeah, a man it's... is doing, if a man is doing his due diligence, he's making the money, he's supportive, he's protective. Let him do his own thing. As long as he's not fucking around or something like that with women, let them do their own thing as well. Yeah, I do I not believe I do not believe in MGTOW. I also don't believe in misandry. Men and women are supposed to uphold one another. I think that what's interesting is, and I don't disagree with that. I think that people have their own agency to make their own decisions. Exactly. Um, you know, particular the birth control conversation is not something I care about. It's uh, if a woman wants to take it, she's welcome to. I think just with and like with any prescription, just know that there may or may not be side effects. Um, I'm not a doctor, but I think there are women that will say, 
you know, there are some negative things that can happen to you when you're taking pro birth control for a prolonged time. Yes, there is. Um, basically, it evens you out if you're female. So you don't get as uh, low a low and you don't get as high a high. Mm. Whereas if you're not on birth control, like uh, when you're ovulating, you're going to get a, a real big high when you're on your period or shortly before with PMS, depending, um, it'll be a really low low. What the birth control pill does is it modulates it and uh, it can actually cause a mental effect. Yes. And uh, it that helps is fundamentally sometimes. true. Yeah. And then I remember some girls like to get their skin, their skin clears up a little bit from it, but the, which, you know, essentially this brought out the repeal the 19th bros, which um, like Cernovich oh, commentated that, on. I'm not a fan of that. I think women should vote. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't, I, I you know. Hey just, guys out there, hey guys out there, believe it or not, uh, putting down on women and saying that they should be second class citizens ain't going to get you a date. Yeah. Those, okay. those, those cottage core chicks are not going to respect you for having that opinion. Just saying. <laughs> which is, which leads me to this, which is a perfect transition. I won't play the whole thing, but. Um, oh, I God. I, I can tell from the problem classes that this is going to be funny. Well, no, no, it's actually not. It's not. Well, I mean, it might oh, be it's funny. it's not? But it's Savannah Hernandez. I don't know if you're familiar with her work. No. Um, but she basically comments on essentially kind of what we're saying. I'm just going to play a little bit of it because I thought. My, my apologies, Serena. Yeah, no, no, no worries. All right, I vowed to never break my silence on this issue because it's so vitriolic, but the time has come, uh, especially since we're seeing a lot of the commentary surrounding birth control. And once again, women not being in their prime in their 30s, but being in their prime in their 20s. Now, these are both sentiments that I actually agree with. However, and this is a PSA for all men on the right wing, we really need to work on our delivery of our messaging to women. There is a reason why women are leaning more towards liberalism and men are leaning more towards conservatism. And there is a reason why men are drawn more to that Andrew Tate-esque style of commentary and women are averse to it because guess what? Men and women are different. Now, I completely agree with all of these sentiments of women should be mothers as soon as possible. They should stay at home with the family as opposed to being in corporate life. I agree with the sentiment that birth control is bad for us. It's bad for our brains and and it changes our physical and mental structure, essentially. I do agree with the sentiment that we need strong men in society and that feminism is a lie that a lot of women have fallen for. I agree with all of that. But to every single right winger who is talking about these issues, I notice this pattern where they try to talk to women like they talk to men. And that's why we're losing a lot of women in the right wing, because guess what? Women aren't men and you can't talk to women the same way you talk to men. I don't disagree with her. No, yeah, no, definitely. You uh, sometimes you can't talk to women at all. You know? yeah, 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 that's true. Just, just saying. Yeah, I, I noticed that there is this like the repeal the 19th bros which i don't think are real conservatives oh, the, the MGTOW mra thing i just fucking hate it i it's like I, yes i understand okay there is a differential within the legal system right we both right. recognize Family that law. everyone yeah. out everyone out there recognizes it there is definitely a differential men differentially get screwed by the legal system when it comes to divorce when it comes to child support etc 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 that does not mean that women are responsible for that. Correct. Men design that system. A bunch of weak, pathetic liberal men designed that system. It weren't women. Yeah. Look at That's look a... look at the look at the judges that made those decisions. Um, ninety percent of them are male. They have dicks and white. Yeah. The mm -hmm. the that's a hot take, but it's yeah. true. Um, Absolutely it's a, it's a, true. It's a fact that. Um, well, 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 I mean, anger. some some of them may have may, wore different hats too, but we won't sure. get into that more. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> I mean, that's for TOS reasons. Yeah, yeah. The, the the issue is, yes, I agree. Men, you know, in, in, there are elements of like the men's rights movements, in, in, as it pertains to family law. I hundred percent agree with. Um, there are elements of it where it goes too far into like women are ruining every aspect of my life. And I, I feel like there are other reasons why people might feel that way. 
Yeah, but there are states that are that are highly misandristic. Vermont mm -hmm. is one of them, actually. I mean, Where if, I live, you're, if you're a woman, if you're a woman in this state, you've got a 90 percent chance of prevailing, even if you're wrong. It's sort of yeah. like having an argument with a woman, you know. <laughs> well, then it's closer to 100. But the. <laughs> yeah. Well, in Wisconsin, it's like 50 50. There's no point in arguing kind of thing. Um, but you end up with there are all sorts of men's issues you can talk about. But what I what I think is on the on the right in particular men we need women first of all we need women to win oh, elections yes <laughs> you know and no, women we need women for far more than that oh my yeah, god yeah right and you know who does all these like phone call campaigns you know who does a lot of the work behind the scenes it's women and so if you're going to be i think what sav is saying is simply like hey she's saying like look i don't disagree with a lot of this crap but maybe don't be an asshole like, yeah. because women are different and they're going to feel some kind of way about it and they're going to get offended. I won't call anyone out in particular, but there's there was one large person on Twitter, basically. And then they basically said, like, I don't know, this is weird that Charlie Kirk's talking about birth control. And everyone's like, oh, you're a feminist. You're a fake conservative. Blah. I'm like, how how does acknowledging the relevance of women and their value and how delicious they are, mm. how does that make you a feminist? I don't know. And I hate it every time I see it. And it happens all the time. Women are you know? wonderful. Yeah, I am a big fan Oof. of women. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, Sixty nine are both woman appreciators. Sixty nine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's one I of my favorite feel. numbers. Yeah. The, Jesus. I think that there is there is this. Um, we're both certified feminists now, but the yeah, the, there was this this narrative. I will. I will, def I will defend women though. When they're being perved upon by like, you know, old men and stuff, you know, dressing oh, in a yeah. skirt and pretending to be women and stuff like that, like what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Yeah, and that's. Can you imagine? Can you imagine them doing that twenty years ago? They would no. have been beaten to a bloody pulp, yeah, and they would have been dragged outside unconscious. Well, yeah, and imagine going... should, and and disclaimer: I'm not, uh, I'm not exclaiming any yeah. uh, any violence or anything like that, but uh, it should happen, yeah. Yeah, the. Yeah. I imagine tw 10, 20 years ago, a, a grown man being in the women's locker room and like yeah, they, would get, they would get punched out. Yeah, it would be it. It's one some of those girls walked someone's, outside. Someone's boyfriend would have come yes. in there and said, what the fuck are you doing here? Yeah. Punched him in the face and dragged him out and left him on the concrete. Right. And the cops never would have showed up. Like that's exactly. yeah, that's that's how and, that's and used to happen. Although I, although I don't directly believe in vigilantism or something like that, I got to say. It might have been a better world. Yeah. We well, need to defend our women. We need to defend our wives and daughters much more than we do now. Yeah. The, I think that you're going, and by the way, the flip side of that is I think you are going to see more vigilantism when it comes to this stuff. You're good. They don't have, well, I'm not going to shed any tears about it, <laughs> but like there was a point where like, um, you know, live and let live guys like me were live and let live for a very long time. And then that opinion got taken advantage of. Yeah. They're and... converting libertarians into a bunch of authoritarians. Actually, <laughs> yeah. they're managing to, they're managing to make people like me be more authoritarian. Yeah. I well, that's, hate it. I hate it too. I hate feeling like some of the stuff I say, I'm like, wait, I wouldn't have said this a year ago, but Dude, your dong's out in the woman's locker room. What do you want me to do? Okay, we have to have, we have to agree on something. Like, you can't do that. It makes absolutely no sense that they're even pushing the issue because they know they'll lose. It's a, yeah. I'm, I'm actually trying to figure out exactly what they're hoping to gain by it. Because at I'm some not... point, it's like, okay, you've self evidently lost um, quite clearly, even among the left. God damn, even the left barely. Uh, supports you what are you actually trying to do i used to think they were just trying to shift the overton window and they picked a few people but i it is now my personal opinion that most people just talking about the locker room stuff for example oh, most people who are trans either probably don't they don't feel the need to invade other people's spaces they change before the gym or after the gym or they go they do this stuff. I think the ones that are doing it are just actual perverts. That's, yeah, I've that's known I've opinion. known pe I've known people personally who are trans. Me too. And, and they don't do they, this stuff. They don't perv on kids. 
Yeah. They don't go into the wrong locker room or anything. Like one of my high school friends, actually, I won't, I won't name names, yeah. um, was male and became trans. And I don't know if he ever had bottom surgery or not, but you know, had boobs and looked female and stuff. Yeah. Met him a couple of times after he effectively transitioned. Uh, he would never do anything with a child. He's right. not and I bet she didn't he, force himself on women either. Like yeah, he's not, he's not he's not perving on anyone or anything like that. He would never do that. And so I feel sorry for people like that because it's like I understand some people have gender dysphoria. It's I feel real. sorry yeah. for you. It mm -hmm. is real. Your experience is real. I really I want the best for you. Mm -hmm. But then you've got these other retards that aren't transgendered at all that simply put on a skirt and they go into the woman's locker room. Right. And there is no way that I'm ever in in a, in a thousand years of hell. I will never be uh, OK with that. Nor yeah, would any other no nor, 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 nor with any uh, would any other uh, person and people that don't speak out against her to cowards. And there yeah, are a lot I, of cowards out there in the world. Well, there are a lot of people who are afraid too. for a lot of years, you know, speaking out against that, you know, yep. some level of that power has shifted. Um, in, in, you know, in spite of the porn bots, like Elon yeah, buying oh Twitter God. was a, th was a thing that was liberating. Like there isn't a time, the time you post a picture of a man shaving in a woman's bathroom on Twitter, you would have been banned. First of all, you would have been docs. You would have been dog -pelled. Now it's like, oh no, it's actual yeah. social movement now. When did you, uh, first start using YouTube? What year? The, the first year it was on. Like the very first year, I had a channel called Be Your Own IT on YouTube. It was about computer repair. Um, oh. so I've been around f forever. Yeah. Because I remember back in the day on YouTube, um, I first got on there in 2006 or thereabouts. And I can remember um, if you had like a video of lesbians kissing, you'd get banned for it. Yep. But, oh, if, yeah. you, but yeah. if you had the N word show, nobody cared. Remember? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Politically, yeah. uh, political incorrectness. Uh, to those who don't remember, uh, you could that do was pretty show, much yeah. what, as long as it wasn't sexual, you could do pretty much whatever you wanted to do on uh, mid two thousands YouTube. Yeah, and it was, and you could be very I was just popular. It's, it's, yeah, exactly. Um, God damn, I got my first break uh, as Botany one hundred and one by making uh, trip reports. Trip I had reports. Five, oh, nice. I had almost That's five thousand subscribers, and back in the day, that was That's a, a lot. million. Yeah, that's a million. Like yeah. I remember there was a yeah. point on YouTube where you had to have so many subscribers and then you could change your banner. Do you remember that? Like yeah. you had to have there was a point where you had to yeah, have like ten thousand or something like that. And it was like you could change your banner. I was like, whoa, that was before you never any nobody was making mm -hmm. money back then. It was just like, yeah, yeah. The it was Dab a, on them. Yeah, it was a wild era. The I fucking loved it. I'm yeah, glad to have mess. lived through it. I, I wish that everyone out there that's younger than us could have lived through that era of YouTube. You would have it, fucking loved it. It truly was the best. Um, by the way, uh, just to remind everyone, I'm joined by Six Hex and Hammer. He'll be with me every Wednesday at this time. I live stream Monday through Friday. So whoever you're watching, if you're enjoying the show, please do follow. And Six's links are all in the description below. Follow his content. He uploads daily. I don't know about weekends, but during the week you do, right? Oh yeah, no, I upload on the weekends too. I just don't right. do, uh, do the live streams. Yeah, I'm that, actually oh. thinking about dropping my Wednesday live stream because if I'm going live with you, mm. maybe to conserve my energy and I have a little bit of extra time for gardening or something. I don't know. Man, when summer comes around, maybe that'll be, you know, maybe make that. Decision. When summer comes around, I definitely won't be wearing a long sleeve. <laughs> people will be lucky if i don't go shirtless yeah well yeah that's why i think people are a little disappointed shall um, i take it off everyone <laughs> yeah. tell me yeah the make chat. them pay for it the tell me in the chat should i take this uh take these buttons down <laughs> the um i will oh remember video responses oh yeah i remember take it um, off says yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a bunch of gay dudes mainly but uh yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, <laughs> much better. The um, the yeah, dude. If remember he takes what... it off, I'm leaving. Says <laughs> take it off twice. <laughs> the um, we're, we're gonna have some fun. <laughs> Rough. Yeah, believe it, believe believe it or not, I've still got the same figure that I had when I was in my twenties. So yeah, that's hey, that's not easy to do. 
Uh, I, I work very hard at that too. Unfortunately, mine oh is. Oh my. Yeah. There's an easy way to skinny handle the fat whole, dude. Whole Ain't no skinny fat. There's no fat down there. Yeah. <laughs> He's also sitting in a chair. There's an easy way to handle the whole voting thing. Service guarantees citizenship. Actually, no, because that's what I'm worried about. Um, when people talk about, you know, that all these people are going to be in the, you know, all these people coming over the border, that's your new police force. That's your new military. I don't want that. Um, I, I guess maybe if you go serve on the front line somewhere, maybe, but uh, no, I, I don't I'll, think I'll I want that. I'll just say that I like the military in the sense that they really have made excellent MREs. You do love I, your I, MREs, yeah. <laughs> oh my fucking god! The other night I had two of the vegetarian lasagna ones. Is that a just a cook? You cook it? Is that one of the cook bags? You just ones put it in the flameless ration heater. Um, yeah, the first one didn't really work, but the second one did. Oh, it was delicious! Oh my you god! You should have a. Those. Do you have um? Do you have a sponsor for those? You should get one. I have all sorts of people who send me MREs. Well, I mean, like, you should find one that you like and get them to pay you to, to, to eat them. Uh, I don't think you could really do that. No, probably not. It, probably, it would take the fun out of it for you then. Too. No, yeah. I just want people to... I've got another uh, subscriber that wants to send me South African MREs. And I'm like, yes, finally, at long last. I, I fell down the rabbit hole of a guy. I forget what his name is. He... He films all his videos like on his couch. I bet you know what I'm talking about. And like he eats like MREs and um sometimes they're like a hundred years old or fifty years old from like World War Steve II. Steve MRE info. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I know it's... who you're talking about. He had yeah. that uh, hard tack from uh the Civil War, actually. Yeah. Which that was really okay. that was uh, that launched him into the stratosphere. Yeah, that was probably okay. Um, one other thing and I wanted to, I don't think that that one was okay. It didn't turn out. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah. 200 years old. I don't know. Like, yeah. The it's not, Abraham Lincoln might've eaten this. Yeah. That was probably not the best. I was oh going to, I wanted to get your thoughts on, um, wait, let me share this back. Um, the, hold on a sec. The hate speech, laws um oh god the, Poor you Jake know Relling. well yeah She'll well normally i retreat to her castle in friends <laughs> yeah normally i hate her um and i still kind of hate her but at least she stands uh, up for women um i don't but, know i can't bring myself to hate her because she made such great books yeah i, no I, I, grew, I grew I'm up with, i grew up with harry yeah. potter and so I give her a pass, basically. Yeah. I read every time that those books came out, my parents got the first edition as soon as they could. I've still got them, actually. Oh, nice. And uh, I fucking love them. I've still got all seven. And, uh, you know, it really helped to jumpstart my, uh, my linguistic capabilities. And so I credit J.K. Rowling in part for that. That well, and the fact that my dad had uh, several shelves of weird horror works and one year when I was 15, he, uh, yeah, I basically read every book on that library shelf. Yeah, nice. About the... 500 of them. Whoa, that's a lot of books. I'm a speed reader. <laughs> My uh, mother in law is a speed reader. Like, she reads books like in a night. I'm like, damn, like, uh, it takes me like a month to read a book. Oh, you should have seen when Goblet of Fire came out. I was like, yes. And I took it in my room and I read it in a single night. That's like a thousand <laughs> pages, actually. Yeah, that was. I, could, yeah, that, I couldn't unglue myself from it. I remember reading those books, and they were nice because they they made you feel really. There was a lot of, uh, uh, you, you could like there weren't that many words on the page, so you felt a lot of like you blast through the pages really fast and you build momentum. I think that was that, I think that was fairly smart. Yeah. They had um, they have this hate speech law in Scotland, which essentially is several things but most people are talking about misgendering people being a crime now <laughs> and, and it doesn't protect women right right and and jk rowling's like well oh, go ahead and fucking uh, arrest me if you want to yeah i was hoping they I would. would love i would love to see them try to arrest her to deal with her private security detail especially oh yeah right which is can probably bigger than their police force can you imagine how fucking funny that would be 
Well, they, I think it was funny because she challenged them, basically said, okay, arrest me. And then they're like, well, actually, her tweet didn't violate the law. Oh, of course. It of did. course. Yeah, because you knew she put you in a corner. She she could she could post the N word on her tweet and they still wouldn't come for her. They're terrified yeah. of her. Yeah, that would be I love watching them be terrified. Well, it's um my concern with this, it's stuff that's like you used to see it in like the UK, and for a lot of people remember like Dankula and his dog, right? You see it in oh, the UK God. and you're like, dude, that's crazy. That's never that'll never happen here. And then it starts happening and it goes across the ocean. That starts happening in Canada. Then you start seeing in the United States, these bills are in existence in this country. You, there are you mean that, you're not allowed to train your dog to lift up a paw when you say a word? Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I, I apparently, um, but the, you know, in this country, I, I talked to Dankula before and I'm like, I didn't even understand it. How could they possibly prosecute him? It Not was only literally, they... it was literally so ev self evidently a joke. Yeah. Not only did they prosecute him, but they found him guilty and, <laughs> and, and Jesus. took a fine out of his bank account without his permission. Like they, Retarded. they, well, cause they knew if they put him in jail, that it would be like a, like a JK Rowling thing. So they, they're like, well, well, we they can't were put him in jail. He'd be the next Adolf Hitler and he'd write the next Mein Kampf. <laughs> yeah, in jail or something. yeah. Yeah. Well, he basically put him, he, he said, I'll go to jail. This is before he had kids. So I was like, fine, I'm not I'm paying gonna the fine. Go to, I'm going to go to jail. I don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. And then so put him in, the, so put him in a weird spot where they just like took money out of his bank account and said, oh, you paid your fine, even though he didn't agree to pay the fine. But, it made no sense. Yeah, none of it did, but now it's just the norm there. Um, well, it's, oh, they uh, had just breaking. The UK and Canada, they have. Oh God, there's breaking news. Uh oh, Trump. Uh oh, denied denied immunity in the hush money case. How are they keep retrying this? Didn't they already try this nonsense? Didn't he surprise. already go to court for this? Yeah, but not a surprise. You expect them to give them uh, any? Uh, legal immunity of any kind i just he's think it's not great. he's not he's not going to get any uh let me tell everyone how these cases will play out imagine that every decision is against trump ta-da there you go you ruined the ending sticks i know it's yeah. a spoiler alert i'm i'm really sorry you are right though. <laughs> yeah if it can go against they're, trump they're not going to give him any goddamn latitude no and I don't think the, I mean, basically the only one that is suspect now is the Georgia one. Um, yes. With Fulton County. Um, yeah. Even the liberals were uh, expecting that one to fall through. Yeah, that one so will that, collapse. That one will uh, collapse. The documents one. That one collapse. That one. That one's on it. the skids. That one's yeah. on the skids. This one and will go through. The Letitia James case is just civil. So that doesn't matter. He's posted bond. The Alvin Bragg case, we're not entirely sure because we never get any updates on it. Yeah, that one is is weird. And they had... Um, I don't even know what the fuck is happening with that one. Yeah, there hasn't been an update in a while. And essentially, he, he'll he have to pay money, of which he now printed $3 billion in, in <laughs> stock. So it's like... Trump, Trump is wishing that he was president and he could just print more money. And he's like, hey, I made my bond. <laughs> yeah. Here's a hundred thousand million dollars. Uh, who cares? Yeah, yeah. And I mean the the fact that they, I mean, and everything, they're going to go through with it. This trial uh, starts on April fifteenth, but it's not a criminal trial. It's not. It's not going to affect his eligibility to be president. No. It's not going to. Nobody's going to give a damn about it uh, if he's found guilty. And it's like they're just going through the the uh the motions he's gonna they're gonna take 500 million dollars from him and that'll be the end of it like i they're like not that's not a lot take of money that in the end they're, they're gonna have to have a settlement well he's gonna appeal the new york there's no way in hell they're taking 400 million from him no way no no like not he'll even pay, close i bet you it'll be less than 50 million by maybe even less which is, I it'll mean, obviously probably, insane numbers, but yeah, uh, it'll probably be about the bond number. 
So 175. 150. They're going to get as okay. much. They're going to get as much as they can, but uh, he can pay it. Yeah. Well, now he just yeah with, with this with Truth Social being a meme stock and worth billions. Um, yeah. He just got all the money he could ever need. Um, you know, and it's it's interesting to see how that will shake out. There are other. Th- I don't know if you want to comment on the Crisis King stuff or not. I was going to say I normally don't want to suck people into drama if they don't want it. We can skip that topic if you want. The what? The Daily Wire Crisis King stuff. You got a you got a take on that, or you want to skip it? Fuck the Daily Wire. Hail Kale and the Owens. There you go. Okay. Well, that is a take. Yeah. That's. I mean, that's that's where my position is currently. Um, but fuck uh, Ben Shapiro. Fuck Ben Shapiro. Yeah, Ben. Never, ben, never, yeah. never liked him before. Won't like him now. Like him less now uh, than I did. Yeah, we're on the same page there. I don't agree with everything Candace he, Owens he says. Has, but... He's he's basically like a broken clock. Sometimes he has some good takes. That's perfectly fine. But when I look at Razor Fist's uh, coverage of Michael Jackson, and I yeah. see Ben Shapiro throwing him under the bus with absolutely no evidence whatsoever, uh, yeah, uh, we'll crush you like the skull of a pig, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that uh, that is an interesting one. Candace, I hope she comes to Rumble. I think that would be a, a big win for Rumble, but you know, obviously I don't know how that's going to shake out. She obviously doesn't need any platforms because she married some guy who's like, I mean, not that she's not rich in her own right, but whoever she's married to has like wealth. Um, so who knows? The only other topic I don't have I, had... prob- I don't have don't have a problem with Candace Owens myself. I've no, talked to her. I've talked to her before, actually, you know, privately, and she always seemed respectful and everything like that. The only time I ever talked to her was during Red Pill Black era, and yeah. um, that was so long ago. I'm willing to give her the benefit of the doubt now. You know, 15 years later, not everyone's been terminally online for as long as we have and can re- you know <laughs> remember all that nonsense. Um, any thoughts on the last topic? I know it's get, it gets late um, for people in chat. I'm going to stay. I'm going to let sticks hit the he's it's getting late for him, uh, but I'm going to stay on for a few minutes after any thoughts on uh, Disney today losing a couple billion dollars in. Oh, uh, I love it. <laughs> yeah. In about five minutes, they lost, uh, let's see, 3%. So that's about $6 billion, $5 billion in market cap. Hail, hail Ron DeSantis on that one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Over, a, year, over a year ago, I said, uh, well, I'm Team Trump. I would side with DeSantis on the uh, Disney thing. And uh, I held true to that. And uh, he held true to his, uh, to his uh, mission. And he fucked his knee in the ass. And I yeah, right. I know. I really, I really wish DeSantis hadn't run in twenty twenty four, and I wish he had just ran in twenty twenty eight. But he, he had the right to run. I don't sure. see any problem with that or anything like that. He yeah, stayed I mean, in he had the long, right to, but uh, yeah, everyone did basically. I mean, yeah. what the hell was Chris Christie okay, doing up yeah, there? Yeah. It was the most embarrassing thing, second most embarrassing only to Nikki Hill. Well, at least we all knew what Nikki was doing. Nikki is just building her war Sorry. chest, um, you know, and hanging around. But like, what was Chris Christie even doing in that? Like, he was in the third debate, or was he in the third debate? He was in the second debate. No, least. he wasn't. Yeah, he was in he the wasn't second. He wasn't in the third. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, just really want to remind everybody, I've been joined by Stick Sex and Hammer. All of his links are in the description down below. I'm gonna stay on for a few minutes yet, but I know that you said, uh, you know. It gets kind of it's getting kind of late for you, so I'm gonna let you hop off tonight. You've got a lot. You've got live stream tomorrow, right? What time is your live stream? My live streams are usually at around 11:30 Eastern time. 11:30 Eastern time. So go check out Sticks tomorrow live 11:30 Eastern on Rumble and YouTube. I think right, or is it Rumble exclusive? Uh, no, it's not Rumble exclusive. But maybe I'll show my titties. You know. Okay, P- potential titties tomorrow. Sticks. We'll talk to you later tonight. Maybe I'll show more. You know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Have a good night. All right. Have a good night. The um. So I wanted to talk about one more thing here. Uh, one more story, and I also wanted to make sure I get to the the super chats. 
Um, I could, I, I think he was getting a little tired, so I didn't want to keep him too late. We'll make sure we start a little earlier next time, you know, uh, to get the full two hours in. Um, he's going to be here every Wednesday. So that's, that's what's great. And if you're enjoying the show, by the way, and if you haven't yet, please do, um, follow my channel wherever, you know, wherever you might be. Uh, if you're on rumble, you know, hit that follow button very, very close to 200,000, which is awesome. If you're on YouTube, you know, you know how to subscribe. Yeah, new time slot, new co-hosts. Well, it's about growing the show, really. It's about doing right by my viewers, you know? Um, I want to say uh, Melkor said Harry Potter destroyed the millennial generation. Well, I will say it did in in the um in the one in the ones that uh it's the only book they ever read, you know. There's that. Uh, Darth Gorbag says, did you message Doomcock yet? No, I will tonight. Uh, I think that's all the YouTube ones I got. And then I've never seen him before, but six is cool. Yes, he is. I like him a lot. I want more cereal. So Sticks mentions Razor Fist as if it's not his alter ego. <laughs> uh, I want more. So, hey, Sticks, nice belly button. Why don't you stream with Sydney anymore? She's busy. I'm busy. The Young says, married 35 years. Trigger a woman, her ears shut off. Speak her language, and she will give you the benefit of the doubt. Tough language to learn. True. Sir Thomas says, how many of those beta males would be elected if women weren't allowed to vote, though? <laughs> Fair point. A chicken, and, a chicken or the egg type of thing. This is Mike says, I heard a woman once say that she didn't think women should vote because they're emotional and not critical. Crit thinkers. It's possible. I mean, I understand. I have heard that argument. Um, Harry Toe says, if men can't have an opinion on women's rights, then women can't have an opinion about war. They're not drafted into wars. Okay, I think that's fair. Where's the everything is racist guy in chat? Jeremy loves that shit. Oh, where's the everything is? Yeah, it's my favorite. I think I caught all the rumble rants, I think. Yeah. She's busy. I'm busy. Okay, what happened? No, I mean, she had her like lawsuit stuff going on. Um, we have the publica that we still work together on the publica every day. So. Everything's good between us, for sure. I'll work a little bit. I think I could do better to get used to Styx's cadence a little bit more. I definitely stepped on him. I definitely stepped on his words more than I like to. So next time, I think I'll uh, we'll have a little bit smoother transition. Sometimes I couldn't tell when he was done talking. Um, so that'll be, you know, I'll get used to that for sure. Yes, every Wednesday um, he'll be on. And then tomorrow, Melanie Mack will be back. Melanie Mack is here on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Sticks is uh, Sticks is here on Wednesdays. And I'm leaving Fridays open for guests, and I'm leaving Mondays to myself. Get tired of tripping on my username and just give up. To brew that do. Yeah, it's a work in progress. It'll be a good show. Yeah, I, I once I get his cadence down better, you know what I mean? Like, that'll be... Then, you know, that'll be... We'll have better flow. Viva never got used to Barnes years later. Oh, I'll definitely get used to... I'll, I'll, I'll get used to his much quicker. So what else? Uh, so tomorrow, we obviously... I mean, all the Disney stuff... You know, part of it too is um, the politics stuff is not my strong suit, which is why I wanted to bring him on, you know, so that I'd have, I'd be forced to talk about it more and be able to generate clips uh, about that. It was good first day. You guys, okay. So you guys are good. Good. You guys enjoyed the show. 
Any of you new, any newbies in the chat? I think we had a good, we had good, we had good numbers tonight. 5.6 thousand people on Rumble. I think we were like six, 700 on, on YouTube, maybe 800. We were over 6,000 the whole night. So. He'll get you up to speed on politics. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, late and gay. New time, better than noon. It's hard to say about whether or not it's better than noon. I do like the um, long-time listener, long-commenter. Oh, yeah, I know you, Brooke. I uh, I will say the the stream at this hour uh, has a higher low. So, like, it's usually never low than three or four, lower than three or 4,000. So, it's a better time slot for sure. Um, you know, but it's about building it. We've only been in this time slot for a week. So ideally we get, uh, I get more rants in this. You get more rants in this time slot. I definitely get more rumble rants and super chats in this time slot for sure. Mikkel, Mikkel, first timer here, by the way, you can join if you want to support a channel. There's two ways you can do so. I don't often bring it up, but you can join the basement, which is my locals group, my locals community, or on YouTube, you can join as a member. Both go exceedingly far to help, obviously, offset the cost of now I pay Melanie and I pay Styx for their time. So, you know, that'll help for that. Why can't you live stream on BitChute? I can. I'll see if I can do the RTMP or whatever for BitChute. So we'll be live again uh, tomorrow. Every day at 5.30 during the week, we're live. So tomorrow we'll have Melanie Mack, where we talk, we'll talk a little bit more like pop culture, culture issues, tech issues, things like that. Yes, I pay my co-hosts, unlike you know, some people. But uh, yeah. It was hard to get used to for a short time, but then after listening full stream after my launch, instead of a listen on and a listen off. Yeah, sure. I agree. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's where we're going to wrap it up tonight. I'm going to work on clips for tomorrow. And uh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe or follow before you leave. We'll see you again in, what, 22 hours? Appreciate you all.